The British Labour Party has called for an immediate general election after the Conservative Party lost almost 800 seats in local elections in England and Wales. Yes, Labour claimed that the results, if translated into a general election, would give them an overall majority to form the next government. But the Liberal Democrats, who made even more gains than Labour, said they would hold the balance of power. The Bangladeshi government says nearly 100,000 people were killed in Tuesday's cyclone. As the risk of more deaths increases with the lack of food and medicine, Prime Minister Khaled Azia appealed for more aid for the 10 million homeless people. International aid for the thousands of starving survivors of the cyclone has already begun to arrive in Bangladesh. But it's still inadequate for the urgent needs of this impoverished country. With most roads still cut off, the only way of getting supplies to the people is by air. But a lot more food, drinking water and medicine are badly needed. Transporting supplies by water isn't possible because most of the country's ships and boats were sunk by tidal waves. The country's main port, Chittagong, is littered with sunken ships and the port had to be closed. Another powerful earthquake hit the Soviet Republic of Georgia today, four days after a quake which killed about 100 people and injured more than 200. The latest quake also measured seven on the Richter scale and hit a mountainous and thinly populated region. There were no immediate details of casualties or damage. Well, that was the 4 o'clock summary. Our next news is the 6-1 with Sean Dignan and Anne Doyle. Good afternoon. The popular drama by John Goldsworthy, The Foresight Saga, can be seen in 25 minutes' time at 4.30. But first, Sons and Daughters.